interests me in biotech is it's the future. It's really transforming medicine, health, so it has bioethical implications, and just like longevity, changing society. I mean, there's so much to think about. I'm personally really excited for all the ag trends. Oncologies, therapeutics are booming, and I think that's awesome. Learned about IndieBio through their synthetic biology investments, aquaculture related companies converting CO2 into fish feed, which is really important to me as an ocean guy. I'm really excited to see how biotech is, is changing ocean sustainability, create an alternative to the forage fish that we're grinding up and feeding to all the aquaculture fish that we eat. It's a passion for me and it's really cool to, to see it. I think IndieBio is helping inspire uh, a lot of the effort. In the past, I was very interested in like gene therapy, synthetic biology. Now, I'm less interested in technical, I'm more interested in collaboration between private and public. Taking a part of the pharmaceutical industry or the biotech company and really finding where does a strategic collaboration can happen with academia. Having worked in both areas, I find that there is absolute synergies that can be created, but we need translators between academia and really startup world. Greece is in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, IndieBio is one of the best demo days of the year, and it's been going for many years, and I've been coming the whole time. There's a whole spectrum of different kinds of companies, from food to medical. I like treating DNA as software and being able to program in DNA. And you can do all kinds of things once you have that working. Both the tools and the applications are, are interesting to me. Is there one that you're really keeping an eye on and why? Absolutely, it's genetic engineering. Correct a lot of uh, point mutations. We can do things like reprogramming our immune systems. You're also getting into things like enhancements. The idea of designer babies, that's really interesting to me. Philosophically and ethically, where do you cross the line? Yeah. <laughs> I hope we can have a global conversation to make sure that everyone can be as ethically grounded as possible because uh, I foresee a lot of geopolitical pressures.